In Module 2, we're going to cover the MX-6 features and benefits. When looking at the case material of the MX-6, it uses a Lexan ABS stainless steel with protective rubber molding. This provides it with excellent protection in environmental and when being dropped. The dimensions of the MX-6 is 5.3 inches by 3.05 inches by 1.7 inch. That's the diffusion model. With the sampling pump in place, you can add the length by just a couple inches. The weight of the MX-6 is only 14.4 ounces. The display readout uses the color graphic LCD display, first in the industry to incorporate such a display. There's actually four different sensor technologies that are used in the MX-6. You have a catalytic diffusion sensor for detection of combustible gases or for detection of methane. You also have an infrared sensor as well. The infrared sensors are used for detection of methane and for carbon dioxide. There's also electrochemical sensors available for the MX-6 for detection of oxygen and the toxic gases. And the last sensor technology available is a photoionization sensor for detection of VOCs. VOCs are volatile organic compounds, and a volatile organic compound is any carbon, hydrogen, and a gaseous form. Now we're going to look at the measuring range of the sensors for the MX-6. The combustible sensor has a measuring range from 0 to 100% LEL and it reads in 1% increments. Now if using the combustible sensor for detection of methane gas, it can read methane gas from 0 to 5% by volume in 0.1% increments. So the MX-6 can be utilized to detect either combustible gas or to read in percent by volume methane depending on how the user sets up the instrument. If the IR sensor is being incorporated, then the measuring range is extended up to 100% by volume. The oxygen sensor installed in the instrument reads in 0.1% increments and it can read up to 30% by volume. There are two different carbon monoxide sensors available for the MX-6. One of the carbon monoxide sensors is the standard range which reads up to 999 ppm although a high range CO sensor can be installed that has a capability of reading up to 9999 ppm. The hydrogen sulfide sensor reads in 0.1 ppm increments and therefore has a measuring range of 500 ppm. A hydrogen sensor can be installed in the unit that reads in 1 ppm increments and can read up to 999 ppm. The nitric oxide sensor can read up to 999 ppm, also in 1 ppm increments. The chlorine sensor, which reads in 0.1 ppm increments, can read up to 99.9 .9 ppm. Nitrogen dioxide sensor also can be installed in the MX-6, has a 0.1 ppm measuring range, and can read up to 99.9 .9 ppm. The sulfur dioxide sensor, which can also be st installed in your MX-6, can read in 0.1 ppm increments and can read up to 99.9 .9 ppm. A hydrogen cyanide sensor reads in 0.1 ppm increments but can only read up to 30 ppm. A hydrogen chloride sensor also reads in 0.1 ppm increments and can read up to 30 ppm. The ammonia sensor can read up to 200 ppm and reads in 1 ppm increments. The chlorine dioxide reads in 0.01 ppm increments, therefore it can only read up to 1 ppm. This is because chlorine dioxide has a permissible exposure limit of only 0.1 ppm. The phosphine sensor also reads in 0.01 ppm increments and therefore can read up to 5 ppm. Although an extended range phosphine sensor can be installed that allows the user to read up to 999 ppm. Ethylene oxide, which reads in 0.1 ppm increments, has a measuring range of up to 10 ppm. And a carbon dioxide sensor, reads in 0.1% increments, can read up to 5% by volume. And for detection of VOCs, which is using the PID sensor, it reads in 0.1 ppm increments and can read up to 2,000 ppm. 
The operating temperature range of the MX6 is from negative 20 to 55 C or negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit up to 131. This is typical. Now this is extended normal usage, although lower ranges and higher ranges can be exceeded for short durations. The operating humidity range is from 15% to 95%, provided that the humidity is non-condensing. And this would be, of course, continuous use, where lower and higher humidity ranges can be extended for short durations. The power source available for the MX-6 are three different types of battery packs. You, the first two are rechargeable, which is the lithium-ion battery pack, which will give you about 24 hours runtime. But there's also an extended range lithium-ion battery pack available that allow you to, to monitor for up to 36 hours. There's an alkaline battery pack as well, but this will only give you 10.5 hours of runtime. The MX-6 is intrinsically safe. Now, intrinsically safe indicates that the instrument will not be a source of ignition in an atmosphere of combustible gases. To certify this, Industrial Scientific goes out and we seek third-party approvals to certify that the instrument is indeed intrinsically safe. There are four different appro approvals on the instrument. One is ATEX. Then there's UL, which is Underwriters Laboratory. CSA, which is Canadian Standards Association. And for mining, it has an MSHA approval as well. There are many features and different benefits involved in the MX-6. So since we've got done looking at the specifications, let's look at how those specifications evolve into features and benefits of the unit. One of the major features of the instrument is, of course, the display. It's a color, graphic, liquid crystal type display. And being that it's full color, it conveys the information to the user graphically and very easily. Another feature of the instrument is the menu-driven portable embedded GUI operating system. This is much like you're, con like you're used to on your laptop or on your cell phone or on a PDA where you have drop-down menus which makes it very easy to understand and a very user-friendly type interface. Another feature is the fact that there are 21 interchangeable field replaceable sensors available. And this, would be, this would include sensors that are electrochemical, IR, PID, and even catalytic bead. By mixing and matching these sensors, the instrument will have the ability for detection of gases in many different types of hazardous environments. Another feature is that the MX-6 is INET ready out the door. So for those customers who are already on the INET program, rest assured that the MX-6 as you receive will be fully integrated into your fleet quite easily. For those of you who are not INET customers, more information about INET will be available in later modules. The instrument is also multilingual. It has eight pre-programmed languages built into the instrument for international workforces. There's a five-way in instrument navigation button that you'll find on your MX-6. With this button, you'll be able to scroll through the different operations by using an up and a down arrow, a left and a right, and in the center, you're going to have an on-off enter button. The MX-6 comes available as either a diffusion or a sample draw type. The instrument can be ordered as either one or the other, although in the field it can be changed from one type to the other by simply either adding a sampling pump or removing the sampling pump. The diffusion version would be used primarily as a personal monitor, whereas the sample draw type primary use would be for confined space entry. Unless the pump is in place, the instrument cannot be used for confined space entry. There's also two primary different battery sources available for the MX-6. You have the lithium-ion battery pack, and there's two versions of that. You have the standard and the extended range, but you also have the optional alkaline battery pack, utilizing three AA batteries. This gives you around-the-clock monitoring capabilities, and therefore can be swapped out on a moment's notice. Also in the MX-6, an extended range lithium ion battery pack is available. This allows for 36 continuous hours of operation. This is especially important if I'm utilizing a sampling pump or if a PID or an IR sensor is in place because these are high power, high consumption type components that can be put in the instrument. The extended range battery pack 
can help compensate for such given 36 hours. There are three different displays available for the MX6 that a user can select. One is the numeric display, which you'll see in the lower left hand corner, which will actually show you the sensors installed in the instrument along with its gas readings. The one in the center is your graphic display. Graphic display will graphically show the readings of the instrument, but the lower right is your text display. Text display removes all the readings, leaving only behind the sensor identifiers with an OK indication indicating that the gas concentration in the environment is OK. Of course, if a sensor goes alarm, whether it be a low or a high alarm, that will be indicated on the display in a red, low, or high indication. The MX6 also has data logging capability automatically built in the instrument. The data logging capability inside the instrument is an extended memory type. It can actually store up to one year of information at one minute intervals. In addition to data logging, the MX6 also incorporates event logger as well. The event logger will actually record the last 15 gas alarm events that the instrument has been exposed to. On the display of the instrument, the user will have the ability to bring up the event, the sensor type that went into alarm, the max concentration that it read, along with the time that it was in alarm with a date and a time stamp. Another feature of the MX6 is the configuration mode. By going into configuration mode, this allows the user to configure the instrument for display, alarms, calibrations, data logging, for whatever preferences they are choosing. Another feature of the MX6 is the ability to bump test and or self-test the instrument upon startup. This allows the user to have the instrument force them to do a bump test and also the instrument can be set up to self-test to ensure that the instrument is working properly during startup. The MX6 is also DS2 capable. With a docking station, the docking station has the ability to automatically calibrate and bump test and maintain all those records in a centralized database. More about the DS2 will be discussed in later modules. The MX6 utilizes an overmolded composite stainless steel case. This provides exceptional durability and ingress protection in the harshest industrial environments. RFI, or radio frequency interference, can be a major problem in gas detection. Radio frequency interference can cause deflections on the instrument's display, causing erroneous readings to appear whenever keying a two-way radio or getting on a cell phone. Industrial Scientific has gone through great lengths to eliminate RFI radio frequency interference from the instrument by putting in a protective circuit.